Hey guys, a uh, quick note before we start the video. Um, I had an entire video get eaten by my recording software. Um, that's annoying, but I mean, it's a, this, this recording has, has been serving me pretty well for a lot of years now. High def, it's been pretty reliable. I can't complain too loud. But yeah, once in a while it eats a video and, and it ate one. And uh, because I was kind of, I'll usually check the first video of a session and then just keep going. And this one, I had several videos down with no problem. And suddenly one of them just went, so I didn't notice. And uh, I've already saved. I can't go back and recreate the footage. Uh, but as far as what actually happened, um, so I started heading for the wrong mule base. Like even though there's a map that told me where to go, I went to the mule base that we passed on our way to uh, the kind of outlying base that we're at now. Because uh, if you'll recall, we got our first ever encounter with those guys. There was like a cinematic where they run away because there's also those BT monster guys around. Uh, but I, I basically, that, that map is mapped, including a postal box that is marked orange as their postal box. So I went there and um, like went into that base. I actually snuck up on and meleeed some guys. I got kind of excited about that. I was actually doing like melee combat and stuff. I probably talked about the fact how, oh, and even for plot, you really shouldn't kill these guys. And I always play these games non-lethal anyway. Uh, you shouldn't kill these guys because it causes void outs or whatever. But yeah, I was pretty excited. I spent most of the video trying to get there and failing miserably, trying to climb over a mountain and just running into problems, not being able to figure out the microscopic little on-screen icons to tell you how to retrieve, uh, you know, grappling hooks and ladders you've wasted. And... I definitely loaded the game and, you know, it wasn't the most exciting video ever, but it's gone now. And as this video picks up, I'm on my way back from that base where having taken everything out of the post box that's in their base and knocked out the only two guards that were there after sneaking in real slowly thinking there'd be more than two guards. But it's the first ever base you encounter, so it's easy mode. But yeah, I'm on my way back. And over the course of this video that's coming up, I will discover that I went to the wrong base and throw a little temper tantrum about it. The only other thing is um, I also got like my leg grabbed by that, that like those BT monsters. I managed to avoid them on the way in, in the previous video, but in this video that went missing, I got caught by one and I actually just escaped from it instead of hard resetting or soft resetting. Uh, and I was going to reset, except that it triggered a dialogue with Die Hard Man. I had this little codec speech from Die Hard Man about how, you know, we got to stop. At some point, we got to find a way to, to take the world back. We can't keep living like this. Like, you know, it's it's crazy that, you know, we'll never get our world back until we find some way to deal with these BTs once and for all so people can stop living in fear. And I was like, oh, that's a unique dialogue. I don't want to lose that. Let's just go ahead and continue with this instead of loading and now it turns out <laughs> i've lost that dialogue for you folks forever so if you're desperate to hear die hard man talk more than he's already talked i guess you'll need to check out another person's lp and the first time they ever get caught by a bt out in the wild but for now um that whole video is lost and as we come back as you join our adventure already in progress i am on my way back from what I did not realize was the wrong base and not the one I was supposed to go to to get whatever unobtainium special magical doodad is going to progress the story. So please enjoy the rest of the video. Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Death Stranding. I'm the Mysterious JG. I guess I'll squeeze in another video at least here. Um. I don't know why I always feel the need to describe uh, whether I'm doing one more video in a session. You are seeing these as they come out. Oh, I could actually turn on this controller here. That might help. Okay. So part of... Um Part of what's driving me to continue is even though I'm still frustrated at not being able to do basic things like retrieve certain, um, you know, like pick up a ladder, I can't pick it back up because I can't figure out what the actual control icons are meant to mean. I am, we're actually making a little bit of progress here, which makes me feel more positively inclined towards the game. And 
I'm under the impression that getting the bike working is a pretty big deal towards uh, just quality of life improvement as far as delivering. Look at all those boots that I've got hanging off on the side there. It's ridiculous. Mumble, 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 right? Yeah, this is... Oh, it's just that the rain is here. That's what it's telling me. So rain is terrible in all ways. It's going to destroy all my stuff. The plot told you early to get out of rain as soon as you can, but I don't see where it's given us a lot of caves to just go hide in. So again, I'm trying to stay off center of these mountains. It's coming down pretty hard, but I don't see where I'm supposed to go to avoid my cargo getting damaged. I don't think it's going to be a good idea to start running while... Well, I probably don't need to be crouched. So I've kind of... See, as soon as I start doing anything fancy... So my containers are getting damaged by being in the rain. I'm not running, game. I'm just not crouching anymore. I would assume that I can take some damage and be okay. Oh, it's like right in front of me. Well, what am I supposed to do about this game? No, fuck this. No, seriously, game, would you let me get to it? It's... It won't even let you load your game. It won't even let you just be like, fine, I'm going to try again. You have to sit through all this. I shouldn't have recorded another video tonight. I should have just been like, screw it, I'm going to take a break and do something else because I'm not. It gives you this fucking time thing where it's like, okay, well, like the minute uh, you're going to start moving towards where you think you're making progress. Well, now it's going to rain. And even though we established, like at the very beginning of the game, there's like, oh, there's a cave. Uh, and we'll, we'll give you a whole plot thing about how you need to get out of rain. But then, once you're actually in the game, there's never any place for you to go to get out of rain. You're just you're you're just fucked. Your cargo is going to get damaged. You're not going to get the best possible points. You're just fucked. That's all there is to it. All right. Well, let's let me get onto this damn. This road, then, there doesn't seem to be any point trying to sneak up, f sneak around. Here's the rain. Okay, I guess I was... Now it was time to start doing that.
So of course I'm angled where I can't see what way that little radar dish is to try to avoid. Um, Shut up, kid. Am I getting around it here or not, game? I mean, I seem to have gotten... I don't know if it's sneaking up on me, but I seem to have moved past it. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Man, well, I'm still moving in the right direction. Okay. And that thing is still flipping out. Too much cool shit here that I want to keep. Okay. There we go, that kind of worked. Well, hopefully some of this stuff is still intact. So I don't feel... I think I got all the packages back. And they took some damage because of... Well, the metals has been ruined. So metals were completely ruined by a combination of rain and just the game hating me and me hating my life. But but if you actually try and book it, well, now I'm suddenly not falling over, but it doesn't take long. And I'm just going to do what I can as far as making plot deliveries. And the rain will damage stuff. And as long as I get this thing back so that I succeed in the mission, I'm I'm happy. And there's the bike, which I guess I was supposed to notice before. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I wonder if I can drop cargo once I'm in here. Yeah, you sure can. Alright, let's see what I can do with all this. Make delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Do nothing and close. I thought I had a uh, 
special ma oh special machine wasn't it? Well, shit. Apparently that whole that was not okay. So I didn't get the thing I was supposed to get, even though I went to the center of their base. Whatever. I guess I'm going back to their base. I didn't even deliver it to the right place because I thought I was. I thought that plot stuff was for. Whatever. I'm starting to really hate this game. And I'm sure now I've. Um, oh, did I go to the wrong. Um, I went to the wrong mule camp, I guess. Okay, apparently I went to the wrong mule camp. Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We... Okay, great. Which means I still can't uh, fabricate. Well, we'll rest in the private room, but, um... Your work is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will allow my baby to get re-energized or whatever the hell. Well, apparently, even though I didn't advance the plot, I'm still getting... Oh, never mind, I'm just getting him being dirty and sleepy. <laughs> Weird glowing object in Capital Knot City. Great. So, I was so happy with us, but that was actually... Well, not a waste of time. We got new boots out of it, but... um, Still doesn't seem to have been what we were supposed to do. Weird glowing object in Capital Lot City. Skull. Hey, Sam, you heard the latest rumors that at Capital Lot City people have been seeing some kind of weird glowing thing up on the rooftops near the isolation ward. Seems like it's a... Seems it's a ka. The part of the human that doesn't turn into a BT. That's what people are saying, anyway. Apparently, they say they were a comet site back in the old days. Back before the stranding, I mean. Sorry, goes... Story goes they were lost souls wandering around. One of my pals tried to go, get a closer look and see what... So what? But he couldn't find anything. I'm sure you could do better if you put your mind to it, though, right? So I've got more quests. I guess if I were to go back to that place, there would probably be a quest now. I can't be bothered to poop or shower, so let's go and find where I'm supposed to be going for this quest. Where I thought I knew where to go, but I didn't. So this is an online post box that I need to get to. Okay. Wait, what am I even carrying now? Eh, yeah, whatever. We snuck into a mule camp and punched one of them out. I'm thinking you don't want to go around killing them because... humans who aren't incinerated create weird chaos zones or whatever. Oh, so these are like. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. 
Okay, attack with square. Knock them unconscious. Okay, so no wonder it didn't explain to me how to fight them. I wasn't supposed to have fought the ones I fought. I just saw... Never mind. I guess it makes sense. I was... We were kind of backtracking to get to that mule base. It doesn't seem like the game is ever making you do that. Ooh, equip strand. A strand can be used to quickly and silently render enemies unconscious. I did notice that and wasn't sure what it is. It means to bind human enemies from behind and parry attacks at close quarters. Use something to ready and something to bind. Maybe I can make myself feel a little better here. Anybody hear me? Over here. I'm trying to like this thing, not alert them. This one's for you. I should probably be using a watchtower. Is this like a cave? Like an actual cave where you could avoid rain? I thought those only existed in cinema scenes. stuff a lot. I'm loving life. What can I say? This cave seems to go directly into the heart of their base and is not guarded for some reason. Hey, come and get me. Why am I saying... I'm, I'm trying to like something. They, they put the like button so if you're not right on top of the thing that you think you're going to like, it just makes you yell out to alert enemies like an idiot. So...
I mean, you can't crouch will help reduce the sound of your movements, okay? Okay, the guy who was guarding it wasn't guarding it that good. So we will take that. That will take us right to the edge of what I can handle. Um, so since we can barely carry this, I better just stop now. Can always come and clear this place out again if we chose choose to. Oh, whatever, kid. Come on. We got to toughen up a bit. You're some kind of weird bio baby. So I was sneaking for a lot longer in this uh, quest than was really necessary. It seems like. What the? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, Sam. Grab the cargo and get the hell out of there. Well, that was the plan. I don't know why you're telling me that now. Oh, I must have been detected. Probably when I, like, fucking crashed into a wall and dropped everything. Yeah. No, I don't want people up. I think this is the right way. Oof. Luckily, those mules are terrible at beating me up. You would think they're... I guess there's like two different types of enemies. There's like the just X package deliverers who are now weirdos forming their own little camps and not part of the chiral network of those are mules but I think there's a more dangerous class of weirdos later who it may turn out don't mind killing you because those guys uh, I'm under the impression nobody wants to kill anyone which is nice I suppose because killing people is a great way to how am I going to climb down this thing now Whatever, baby. Well, I lost blood levels too from this. Mules. Damn addicts chasing a cargo high. That's the stupid game. At all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. Humans were just useless flush sacks. Those like, uh, so, oh god damn it, that baby is just going to annoy me now because we're so close to getting back to where we need to be to reset it all. Turns out we should have forced them to eat conveyor belt sushi and learn to leg it.
So their backstory for why these mule guys are there is a little silly, but um, whatever, I'll go with it. I think we're gonna f we're gonna find out there might be more dangerous enemies later because I'm under the impression that those guys catch you, you just get like knocked out and have your cargo stolen. I don't think they'll kill you because it's nobody's best interest to have people wind up dead in this world because of this whole what do they call it? Blackout? Void out? Yeah. So. I don't know, it's an it's a weird game world. I mean it could grow on me if I ever learned the damn controls, but there's just too much time walking incredibly slowly. Now that I've actually encountered some enemies, like I just feel like I need to be creeping around ultra slow all the time. If I could get past that aspect of it, and you could run up to people and have a little bit of an action game mechanic with a combat, it could be fun. But anytime you're carrying cargo, you have to press and hold both triggers and walk super slow because that's what holds your cargo straps tight. Maybe I don't need to be walking this way all the time, but even when you're not, when, you, when you're at full capacity, you see, like, I, almost, I, I could have lost a whole lot of value of this cargo that way just by trying to showcase walking along and not holding the buttons all the time. Hopefully fixing this bike will change things. Because I believe that might be where this is all going. Although they told me I need to get a, a battery for it. Not necessarily that I'm going to automatically get one once they're able to... Uh... But I have a feeling that's the reward for doing this for them. Partial delivery. Oh, they just want one. Yeah, see, so I got their chiral printer interface. This is awesome sauce. This is what they wanted. Uh, time to get that chiral printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Well, I actually went to two different bases because I didn't pay attention to your map, but, um... Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Are you sure? I guess it didn't rain, it so... I did whack it into the top of a cave. Am I going to get an S rank? Probably not, because I actually whacked the shit out of it, despite his dialogue. Oh, well, no. 7% damage. I might still get an S. Awesome. British Damn. HQ has provided design... Oh. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. But you got some boots you weren't supposed to get, so... Falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridge is standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Mm -hmm. I guess I've just unlocked boots for the first time. That was why they always seem to be in terrible shape, but never quite wearing out completely. New interview data acquired. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death... Two years ago, distribution center west of Capital Not City, the Chiral Network won. Well, that's all good and all, but... Distribution center west of Capital Not City has provided the following new hologram data. Bridges Guard Macho. Some of the facilities so spanned with some shared with Sam. Chiral crystals are still at zero... Resins and metals. The amount of material Sam can use the distribution center West Capital not has been increased. I'm still a handler at level thirty. It's doing a lot better for miscellaneous than any of these other ones. I guess the story will make that happen eventually. Whoa! Am I supposed to know who you are? Well, I mean, that's really neat now, but... Some have speculated that the 
chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That's uh -huh. It is transmitting data. Are you the guy who thinks that, like, this is the next evolution of humanity, that we're all, like, super dead? Because there's Dead Man, Die Hard Man, and Heart Man. I think maybe this is Dead Man. Because I don't pay that much attention. It's it's weird that I'm so having such a hard time keeping the characters straight when one of them is as weird, weirdly dressed as Dead uh, Die Hard Man is. Yeah, but I want to just deliver a bunch of, like, make you I thought I had a uh, lost cargo. Oh, well, whatever. So what is all this other stuff I got now? Carried on back. Well, how do I store this? Like, I don't want to be carrying this around all the time. Right? Move to... In storage. How do I put this stuff in storage? Isn't that what I want to do? Game, what the hell is going on ever? I'm trying to stop carrying this stuff on my back. Because I'm at 89.8, I'm carrying like resins and metals and stuff on my back that I don't think I'm supposed to have to carry on my back. Okay, apparently I can't do one at a time. No, hold on. Resins... Private locker. Okay, I put a bunch of stuff away at least. So what are the new orders that I could be taking on? This is the one I already had. Okay. Okay, so that is causing me to actually backtrack. And now I have like the really weird placement of stuff, but it's okay. I can go beat up some mules for fun. It's tempting to go back to their base and just steal a bunch of their shit, but um... Let's go rest in the private room. So our baby can be healed. We can go take a shower. Collect up more shower water, which is a precious commodity for some reason. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit of the hang of the game, but there's still some basics like how do you retrieve a ladder or a 
climbing rope that completely elude me and therefore frustrate me. Maybe I don't think it's a good morning, huh? You ever think about that? Alright, it's been a couple of days. I should probably take a shit. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think I'm gonna have to call it a session. That was a that was a pretty big moment of frustration when I realized I had gone to the entirely wrong mule camp, but um Finding out that at least at this early stage of the game mules are terrible. Yeah, it's EX, so you get grenades by shitting. You're crapping dynamite, basically. That should suffice. Glad to see everything's in good working order. The latest in our line of EX grenades. I uh -huh. give you the number two. Cute game. As you may have surmised, this model was produced with various extracts refined from your fecal matter. We suspect that your regular consumption of cryptobiotes has led you to excrete certain compounds that may prove especially effective against BTs. Uh, I shouldn't have started like any of this stuff. Should have just called it a video and crapped at the beginning of the next one. Via your private room's toilet. I look forward to your feedback. I'm assuming there's eventually going to be a mechanic where I can't keep producing grenades because he hasn't had enough time pass or eaten enough food to, you know, need to do a number two. That being said, maybe I need to figure out how those damn grenades work. If it's, it, you suppose it's possible that that monster that shows up is just like, I get rid of it and it's gone, it doesn't respawn? It seemed like there was more scary dead bodies than just one grabbing at me at the end where I actually just kind of shrugged them off and escaped with, and didn't, you know, got my cargo back and just kind of wandered out. Well, am I getting any another grenade? No. See, there's the issue. Now, it's like, now you got poop grenades. I no longer get dirty shower water grenades. What a jip. Is he winking at me? What is that? Eh, whatever. All right. So, I'm probably already auto-saving here, but let's save anyway. And uh, when we come back next time, folks, um, I guess we're backtracking to do whatever. We're collecting crystals, which we've been running into these crystals all this time. Maybe now we finally get something to collect them with. I guess we'll find out together in the next video or so. Bye-bye.